Hello everyone, it is our greatest pleasure to present our grand prize winning submission, Aurora Earth Orbiting Settlement. We are ninth graders from the Tudor Vianu National High School of Computer Science in Bucharest, Romania. We warmly invite you to watch our presentation. Imagine a world in which the concept of a space shelter is unknown to mankind. This was the actual situation before the 1950s when there was no thought of colonizing the gloomy universe. But scientific questions have struck again what expanding possibilities do, did and will people have. Space settlements all across the skies, the perfect scenario for the expansion and survival of the human race. Paraphrasing what Neil Armstrong said when he first stepped on the moon, a small step for a man, a giant leap for mankind, we can also say that a small step for a colonist is a big step in Earth's civilization evolution. We chose the name Aurora for our project, as Aurora was the Roman goddess of dawn, also known in the Greek mythology as Eos, the mother of all stars and planets. Having said that, we believe that the vision behind our project is our contribution to the transformation into reality of what most people regard as a far-fetched dream. A space settlement must offer both physical as well as psychical stability. Therefore, we consider that the first step in colonizing space should be building a stationary habitat instead of a traveling spaceship. When choosing the location, we decided that the placement on solid ground would have a lot of disadvantages, so we opted for an orbiting settlement. This made us consider the Lagrangian points, five points of stability found in a free body system, in our case the Earth, the Moon and the Aurora. The first one, L1, lies on the line defined by the two large masses and between them. L2 lies on the same line beyond the smaller of the two masses. L3 is located on the same line beyond the larger mass, in our case the Earth. All these three points are unstable in comparison to the last ones. A body placed in L5 will always keep the same distance from the Moon and the Earth, forming an equilateral triangle. Even if perturbations can interfere with the body placed in one such point, it will drift back to its initial position. Having the same properties as L5, we choose the fourth Lagrangian point as a perfect location for our space settlement. This will also be the place where the assemblage of the station will take place. To be creative, you have to be selective. So, we designed our settlement in order to be the optimum habitat, using just the right volumes and materials. No more, no less, than what should be right for the settlers. The whole station will be assembled around the central sphere. The second component, brought from the moon, will be the central cylinder. Afterwards, four of the eight residential domes will be assembled. The upper part, consisting of the agricultural and livestock growth tori, will be brought. The lower part, consisting of the tori designed for the industry and the particle accelerator, will be mounted. The last step will be the addition of the last four domes. Of course you know that the mechanical waves don't actually spread in void, but the sound was just for artistic impression. Artificial gravity will be provided by rotation. The residential areas will give the inhabitants normal gravity conditions, meaning approximately 1G. In order to design a more Earth-like environment, each bubble will have different characteristics. The first one is the city, the optimal place for people looking for an exciting life. 
The following is the lake site considered one of the most beautiful places on the settlement. The suburb is destinated for residential buildings and stores. The riverside offers its inhabitants a modern and luxurious lifestyle. People can choose the countryside to escape from the city crowd. The downtown is the center of the settlement's social and political life. A beautiful scenery can be found in a seaside resort. Last, the hillside is the perfect place to practice indoor or outdoor sports. Science and research will play an important part in daily life. Multiple laboratories with state-of-the-art technology will be available. For greater advancements, experiments will be carried out with the help of the particle accelerator. Results will be studied by both experimented scientists as well as students. The giant telescope will take us closer, taking better, clearer pictures of the universe. Not only do we hope that Aurora will be a place where mankind can invent new technology for medicine or to ease our daily tasks, we want Aurora to be a place where we can reach a greater level of understanding. With the help of advanced methods of research, we hope to gain a deeper knowledge in particle physics, high energy phenomena and the universe itself from its creation to its possible collapse. A unified theory of everything could get us to grasp the knowledge of what we are used to calling the Creator. A healthy diet will be important for every inhabitant. Dietary plans and physical exercise schedules will be available to every citizen. In our quest to create a self-sufficient colony, we took a great interest in the making and preparation of food and water. The agricultural section will have new systems for an optimal plant growth based on the principles of hydroponics and aeroponics. Livestock will grow in improved earth-like conditions. The animals that will be found at the settlement will cover the aid of meat or other necessary byproducts. Also, harvesting, surveillance, planting and sorting will be all automated. As water is the most important supply, we will use innovative ways of firstly producing it and of recycling it in the best possible manner. In order to resemble ideal earth living conditions, our settlement has an evolved climate transition system. It is revolutionary because it offers stability without being monotonous. In other words, all these factors like uh, heat conditions, temperature, precipitations are highly monitored. On Aurora, there are going to be two main seasons, the hot one and the cold one, the periods in between being called transition seasons. Each bubble has its own personalized timetable, which contains information about weather. Another revolutionary device is the ceiling, uh, because although it reflects light during the day, as the hours pass, it gets more and more opaque during the evening and night. Social life on Aurora will resemble the one on Earth. Places provided for entertainment will have different features in order to please everyone. Tourism will be an option both for inhabitants as well as visitors. The scholar cur curriculum will be different and the education system will be more flexible. Like every community, ours will also have a political system. However, we hope that it will not turn out to be a source of arguments. The supply of resources will be provided by the mining camp located on the moon. The satellite will also be the place where the main parts of the construction will be built and assembled. The moon is the perfect place for such activities because it contains a high amount of metals. Because of the low escape velocity of the moon, the parts of the construction assembled there can be easily propelled in order to safely reach the airport. In order to meet the energy requirements on Aurora, we will use solar power satellites, high photovoltaic cells placed on the exterior of the domes and the fusion reactor. We estimate the total cost for our settlement to reach $234 billion. However, it may be cheaper due to the advancements in the technological field which may cause the raw material prices to drop. 
Regarding the future, we believe that such an amount of money will be more easily spent on scientific projects than in the present, one of the reasons being that we are now thinking about the future in just about the same way people of the 20th century thought about these days. This project has represented a big challenge, not only with other things, but also with ourselves. However, we are hoping that in the future, our generation will be the one to help at the construction of such a project. As a conclusion, we feel the need to thank National Space Society and Mr. Al Globus for giving us the chance to get involved in the project that has proved to be the most interesting we've done so far. We would also like to thank our high school, the Tudor Diano National High School of Computer Science, and our coordinating teacher, Mrs. Iwana Stoika. We also feel the need to thank Mrs. Lynn Zielinski, our friends, parents and teachers for their support. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Aurora.